Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about all the different campaigns which are kicking in right after this maintenance. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe, as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to mention over here is there are a ton of system updates. This is basically like the patch notes over here. You can see there is a ton of stuff over here. We will cover this near the end of the video. So uh, basically we're going to skip over a couple articles and go straight into the campaigns first. So if you do care about the patch notes, uh, you can just jump to the timestamps that is later in the video. But nevertheless, the first campaign that is going on is going to be the premium sets with fabulous bonus items from the AC shop. And this one is actually pretty notable because there are two different sets. The first set is the one that I think most people should buy if you are a cash user. The reason for this is because you're spending 3000 AC for 90 days worth of premium, but the bonus items are really worth it, especially this one right here. The preset skill enhanced success rate and substitute level three. So keep in mind that remember the SG scratch that we just had, the one that I required to scratch like 95 times in order to get the preset skill substitute item. Well, this is a combination of two different items. It's giving you the substitute and it's also giving you the enhanced success rate. I do believe the enhanced success rate is a hundred percent over here. And because these two are combined together, you are actually saving yourself quite a lot of star gems as well as a lot of head and on top of that, you know, I believe 90 days premium originally does cost 3000 AC to begin with anyway. So, uh, you know, you're literally getting all of these bonus items for free. So this one is definitely worth it if you do want premium and if you are a cash user. However, if you're fully free to play, you know, you can just ignore all of this. This doesn't apply to you. Now, as for the 30 day premium over here, you can see that it is more expensive at 1300 AC because, you know, if you were to buy 90 days of this, even though I know you can't because there is a purchase limit, but if you were, you know, theoretically, it would be a lot more than 3000 AC. You'd be paying 900 AC more. That's why in NGS, it's always better to buy the bigger number, whatever gives you more, because they usually give you some steep discounts. But, you know, for whatever reason, if you do want to buy the 30 day premium, you can and you do get some uh, build parts as well as some uh, the holograms. So there is that. But uh, personally, I wouldn't really go out of my way for these. I believe these were released before because I think I have these or at least I have the emote. I, I definitely have the Ran Tea Time emote, but I don't see the emote here. So that's a bit weird that they didn't include the emote. But I do believe that this was released before in the past and that this is a re-release. So uh, there is that. But personally, I still recommend the 90 days premium if you are going to be spending any money because uh, this item right here is just super, super worth it. Uh, it's going to save you so much headache, especially if you do get the 11 star weapons. You're, you're going to be able to get a high level fix on it very, very quickly. Now, in order to sweeten the deal, Sega, of course, added the ARCS Cash Super Sale late spring 2024. This is pretty much the same as like the Black Friday sales where it's like 50% off. So basically, if you uh, top up $10, you're actually getting $22 worth of AC, which is pretty nice. However, remember on the Steam store, it does act a little bit differently. You're just going to purchase the regular $22 AC package, but you will receive an additional 1,200 AC as a bonus on top of it. So it's essentially the same thing regardless of what store you buy from. And remember, you can purchase this once on every single platform if you want to do so, but you do need to link your account onto all of these different platforms in order to do that, all right? The next campaign I want to go over is Gear Up Your Class Special campaign over here. This one is very simple. All you need to do is level up your Ranger as well as your Bouncer. Uh, I don't believe you need it all the way to max level. I believe that it was like level 80 or something, level 70 or level 80, and you will get all of the rewards over here. So you do get this little icon badge. You also get this little plate that you can put in your personal quarters or your creative spaces sorry and you can also get a sg legacy coordination badge for a hairstyle so this badge over here lets you pick any hairstyle from the sg from all of the previous sg scratches as well so this is very very valuable very nice especially for my free to play friends out there now with all of that out of the way let us go over the patch notes or the system updates so the first thing is there are some balance changes or balance adjustments
adjustments coming in. So the balance adjustments are actually pretty simple. I can give you the TLDR over here. It's every class is getting buffed except for the Hunter. The Hunter is getting a slight nerf, but it's not because of the sword adjustments over here, but it's actually because of their add-on skills over here. As you can see, their add-on skills for Spiral Edge Type 2 is getting reduced a little bit by its potency, and uh, the Bouncer add-on skill Encore Jump is also being nerfed a little bit. And adding these two together, gave the Sword Hunter a ton of damage before because you were able to abuse the Living Daylights out of Spiral Edge as well as Encore Jump in order to deal tons of damage. But uh, unfortunately, Sega thought that it's uh, too overpowered, so they decided to nerf it. But as for all of the other classes over here, the Technique, the Braver, Waker, Tech Art, Customization, as well as Add-on Skill Adjustments, these have all been buffed. So that's the TLDR over there. Now we can jump down to the next part, which is enemies. So uh, they have made enemies a lot easier in the prologue. I guess some people were struggling in the very beginning. I, I don't really know. But something that does matter is lower the frequency of attacks from enemies that spawn during PSE bursts. This is really nice. Basically, when it's a PSE burst, you're not going to get randomly knocked out from the sky as often anymore. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, when you're PSE bursting for hours on end, your brain kind of melts and you kind of go into autopilot and you get get knocked about and when you get knocked down you lose a lot of valuable time and you just don't farm at peak efficiency anymore so this is nice that they're just reducing the attacks from enemies um they've also adjusted the hp for enemies of the captain as well as king captain i don't know if this is a buff or a nerf for them but uh, nevertheless they did adjust their hp so we'll have to see I, I don't really know if there's any way to test this to be honest because most of the time when i fight these guys they kind of just explode the next category is the quest and field changes and the big one is right here change the time limit for trial drive various suppression from three minutes to four minutes they're giving us an additional minute against the Drive Varus. However, this guy only spawned when there was Crimson Realm. So um, am I crazy? Is Crimson Realm coming back? They didn't mention it, but they did change the time trial. So uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to check when the servers go live. Maybe they secretly added Crimson Realm or maybe they added Drive Varus into La Seal Exploration. I don't know. The next thing they've also changed is the level of all the enemies in Lasail Exploration Health via Environmental Testing Zone Survey is now level 85. And thus, because of that, they have also increased the battle power requirement to go into Lasail Exploration. You now need 3,821 battle power. Um, they've also added a bunch of new challenge settings. So if you do do like the cocoons or geometric labyrinth or whatever, you do have a lot more challenge settings that you can mess around with to make things a little bit harder. They've also reduced the waiting time for sign of the planet breaker so dark falls soulless so basically it's just gonna be like mdfa so when you load in like 10 seconds later you just go straight into the fight it's gonna be a lot easier and you waste a lot less time so that is really nice now next category is the interface so if you are a premium member they have added the emote pause function for easy photo mode this is really really nice especially if you do take a lot of screenshots um it's going to be very useful for me especially because i do take a lot of screenshots for my thumbnails and my and my videos so this is super useful for me but keep in mind that you do need to have premium in order to use this function if you are not premium and if you are free to play you do not get access to this unfortunately. The next category is character creation. They actually added three new faces in the salon and this is available for everyone since they are default selectable list. So that means they've added the cutie face and the andros face and the andron face. So uh, I, I yeah I'm gonna check this. I'm definitely gonna be checking out the cutie face because uh, yeah I, I want to create a cute character for once. So this is really really interesting. Um, but yeah, basically they've added a ton of cool things into the uh, into the salon. So definitely check that out. The next thing I want to go over is the creative spaces. They have increased the placement limit of the ARCS decoy from 10 to 20. So this is a really big deal. I know a lot of people were asking me for this. They're like, Caro, wh when do we get more decoys? I want more decoys. And uh, Sega has finally answered our question. And uh, yeah, they've increased it. So that's really nice. They've also added more functions to the Genesis tree in the creative spaces. You can now send kudos to other players while you're in the creative spaces. You can also add their creative spaces to your favorites list. And they've also increased the same Save slots for creative space designs to 40. So this is all really, really good for all of my friends that use the creative spaces a lot. 
Um, next up are a bunch of item changes over here. So as I said in my pre-maintenance checklist video, the exchange shop arc striker badges have now changed the weapon camos. So uh, now we have the very cool, the evil orbit, the thesis, as well as the Twa Almaty CVs. So that is really nice. Uh, personally, I don't really care about these CVs that much. I, I mean, I guess it depends on the color since they are all color variants. Maybe the very cool weapon, we'll take a quick look at that when the servers go live. Um, another thing they've also added is even more LC capsules in the Growthman shop. You have Grand Dreadkeeper LC as well as High Red Domina LC, so that is pretty nice. Now, this is very interesting over here because there are some items that I really want here, such as the Motion Dash Angelic as well as the Motion Glide Angelic EX. Or keep in mind, these are all EX versions too. However, uh, it says here, change specifications for item recycle so that the following items will be available for exchange as target count bonus items. So since they're target count bonus items, I think you do need to scratch a certain amount of time with AC. But they also say right here, they added new items in the product list under special scratch exchange. So I'm a little bit confused. I don't understand if I need to spend AC or if I can just spend special scratch tickets to get these items because if you can get ex variants with special scratch tickets that's awesome however i i feel like that's a little bit too good to be true so i will check this in game once the servers go live and i'll let you guys know in tomorrow's video the next thing i want to go over is they have added some new item drops to let exploration and the main item is going to be of course the Growthman 2 because uh, we do have a new shop from the item trader so that you can get the new 10 star rarity weapons and maybe they might have some other goodies as well so we're going to need to check that when the servers go live now there's a bunch of other specification changes over here these are for the alliance tasks so instead of having specific augments required basically they're just going to obtain augment capsules 1-1 1-2 whatever it's super super easy it's gonna be a very fun time and you're gonna complete your alliance task a lot quicker now so that is really awesome now on top of all of that keep in mind that they have added new daily tasks that will be completed only on sundays and mondays these are the ones that actually give you the star gems as well as the uh, color change passes i believe so whenever it's sunday and monday for my friends in america please make sure that you guys log in to actually do this. For my friends in Asia, it's going to be one day later, so it's going to be on Mondays and Tuesdays for us. Um, so just keep that in mind. Just make sure that you actually log in on those specific days to complete the special daily tasks that we get. And last but not least is, of course, there is a new AC scratch over here called Vintage Classics. Uh, I am a very big fan of this outfit over here, and I'm very happy to see that there is a blue variant. The reason for this is because I am cooking up a new outfit. As you can see, this is the design of the new outfit. You guys may actually know this character. She's actually from uh, Iron Fortress of Kabanari. Uh, she's the princess or something, but uh, she is a bow user. So uh, I am planning to use this outfit. I will be doing some changes, of course, some color changes, as uh, red and pink isn't really my color scheme. So I will be changing that to blue. And it just so happens that they already have a blue variant over here. So that is going to be very, very helpful. Full. But nevertheless, there are a ton of really cool items over here. You know, there's a bunch of emotes, the oil paper umbrella pose. This is something I'm going to be checking out. We've got the motion idle, motion glide, and motion dash of the cherry blossom petals. Basically, there's a ton of emotes as well as a bunch of items from this scratch that I do think are pretty interesting, and I definitely will be checking this out. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.